Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation and the South African trip. If you haven't figured it already, look at the sunshine. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10am when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are headed off to the V&A waterfront because we are going to Robben Island. Now, this is going to be a probably a triggering and a controversial to topic. So if you're not interested in finding out anything about Robben Island and seeing the prison, please click off now. I will not be offended and I appreciate you stopping by. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. If you are interested in Robben Island, I will give you some facts. I will try and keep the um, political side out of it. But unfortunately, this is just history and it is what it is. I'm not trying to offend anybody. This is just part of the tour. Now, obviously, for data protection reasons, I will not be showing the staff. And also, um, certain aspects of the tour, I will not be allowed to show you. The Getting on the boat, the trip is four hours. Um, from getting on the boat to getting off the boat, um, coming back. And the tr actual boat trip is only about half an hour. Um, but the actual whole tour, as I said, is four hours. So we just come up to the dockyard. And yes, we are in the completely little wrong space. But before we go to Robben Island, I have a very exciting little treat for you. in the dockyard you can see some sw seal swimming and we tried to change our boat time a bit earlier but it was fully booked so we decided to kill a bit of time and we <laughs> took a spontaneous trip i'll show you in a second A very short trip it was a 14 minute flight and it was beautiful we circled table mountain um i just lost for words it was a bit of <laughs> like a karma for my dad because when i was little the supermarket opened not far from our house and yeah he took me on the helicopter and i pinched the heck out of my sister so badly that i ended up bruising her so this was a bit of karma as well as a birthday gift for my dad just a little trip before we head off to robin island
as you can see, it was an absolutely incredible flight. The sky is so clear. There's a lot of helicopters going around Cape Town. So there's a few businesses that have um, the helicopters going. We went with uh, Aviation Sport. Um, it was it was 2,000 rand a piece, but we got a six-seater helicopter and a beautiful view. And not to mention the pilot was absolutely fantastic, informative. And I said I would give them a shout out on my platform because they are aware that it is coming up. It is completely paid for by ourselves. Um, and obviously, you got to have it enjoyed with us. Now, we've got a bit of time, so we're headed off to a McDonald's. This is our first McDonald's in South Africa. Um, probably, I don't know. I've had a handful of them. And I tell you what, it was awful. So now we're waiting for the boat to come in. As you can see it there in front of you, it looks like it's got a very pointy nose. Um, that is going to take us to Robben Island. Now it has come in very late. Um, I think at this point we were about 25 minutes late. So we were going to get back late, but hey, it's all part of the experience. <music> And on boarding the ship, there were some seals waiting on the side. They were so sweet. So now we've arrived at Robin Island and we're entering the prison precinct. Now there's only a certain amount of the island that we will be seeing, but it's going to take four hours. The following information I am taking is off the Robben Island Museum website because I want to make sure that I get everything correct. Robben Island is the unique symbol of the triumph of the human spirit over adversity, suffering and injustice. With a rich 500 year multi-layered history, it is visited every year by thousands of people eager to understand and honour the important aspects of South Africa's history. and the that the island represents. Robin Island tours operate Monday to Sunday, weather permitting. Nelson Mandela was held at Robin Island for 18 of his 27 years behind bars in South Africa. In 1964, he was sentenced to life for plotting to overthrow South Africa's racist apartheid system. We are now headed into the part of the cells and the fourth window down here that you can see just behind the drain pipe is Nelson Mandela's cell. Okay. We're now moving on to the kitchen area where all the food was prepared by prisoners and they had fresh produce delivered daily. All the food was um, handed out and distributed in rank of what cells you were in and there was blocks A to D. During the time of the 60s, 70s and 80s, the prisoners were not even allowed to have um, newspapers in their cells and they would be severely punished. We'll just leave it at that if they did have any letters or um, newspapers coming in as a method of privacy and keeping them isolated. Here we're heading into the dormitory part of the cell where I believe there was up to 60 prisoners in each cell, two toilets, two showers, and they all had to shower by, time, by a certain time. Whereby they were being forcefully removed from the mainland, right here in Robben Island. On arrival, they were separated. 
according to race as well as according to gender. May Lepas organized as the first democratic parliament of the country. There hasn't been that ideas were shared inside it by those political prisoners. The church of the Good Shepherd was used by male lepers. Most of the churches that were used by female lepers were built next to the harbor. This one was only for male lepers, and it was built by those lepers themselves. The church here, the oldest building on the island, the Garrison Church. 1841, the Garrison Church was built. The Garrison Church was used by the missionaries and the chaplains who were here during the time when we had people with leprosy. That is why some of them, when they died, those missionaries, they were buried behind the Garrison Church. And it was also used as a site whereby they were signaling birth of babies. Whenever there was... It was used for the infamous political imprisonment. The site was used as a primary school for the children of the guards who were stationed here in Robben Island. And even during the time when Robben Island got converted into a museum, it has also been used as a primary school. Now the boat is coming back to take us back and I'm going to take my daddy out to Spur so that we can celebrate his birthday. guys we're going on a road trip back to george i'll see you in the next one look after yourselves look after your brains take care bye life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out